So there's been a fair bit going on since I last checked in with you to do one of these studio diaries. So let's just have a look around and I'll show you what's been going on and what's coming up. Okay, so straight away, this wall here where I've been working on these small paintings, that's starting to come on. I've started a new series of slightly smaller paintings, which I'm pretty pleased with. I really like this little one here. It's got a lot of, uh, you know, interesting textures and uh, shapes, a lot of movement. So I'm enjoying those. I've got these two, uh, this little series up here. Those are on the go, they're slightly bigger ones. Uh, these are all on board on gesso panel. So I'm really pleased with the way those are going. Uh, I did, as you know, I kind of started doing that and then I switched to working on paper and now I've kind of flip flopped back to doing the work on board, but I've still been doing the work on paper because I think sometimes I just need to try different things to get uh, the ideas kind of moving and, and pushing myself in the direction that I want to go in. So I've got a new series of these little paintings here that I'm going to be working on this week as well, So, uh, which is for a different exhibition. So all this stuff here is going to be going into an exhibition I've got coming up next month in uh, Chipping Camden in the Cotswolds here in the UK. So uh, yeah, that's a little sneak peek. Uh, maybe not all of them, but, uh, you know, the good ones. <laughs> so what else have I got on the go? So kind of following on from that, I'm still doing the larger pieces. And uh, I wanted to get uh, another couple of uh, big paintings done. I've got some that are finished uh, in my other room there, which are just drying. And so I've been trying to get a couple of new uh, larger pieces done, which are more influenced by the, the pieces that are on the wall there. So these are the ones down here that I've been working on. I uh, hope you can see them. The kind of uh, reflections are hitting them a bit. They're a bit wet still. They've got quite a lot of oil and varnish on them. So bringing out the stronger colours. So this is these are on canvas. They're... Uh, you know, just lots of mixed media, lots of um, water-based paint underneath, building up the texture and then finishing them off with uh, a few layers of oil paint and varnish and all that kind of stuff, which is why they're laying flat on the floor because otherwise all the varnish would run off. Uh, I was kind of pouring it on and moving it around. So, uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with those. They're, uh, the colour's a bit stronger. Uh, really enjoying those. So they're on canvas, like I said. This one's 120 centimetres by 100, and that's 100 centimeters square so yeah really pleased with those and i've been working on them on this big table here i decided that you know i've been working on this slightly smaller series here um these are about 90 centimeters square there's a little series of three that i'm trying to build up uh, i've been working on them on the wall and i was just really not enjoying what was happening with them so i set up a, a big table here um, in the middle of my studio and started working on them flat so I can pour and run and drip the paint without it all falling off on the floor. Some really oh, juicy texture in there <laughs> where I've been kind of pouring the varnish and mixing the paint in with it. So uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with the way those are going. This one's not really finished yet. Uh, I don't know, It probably in this video, it looks quite similar to the ones that are over here on the floor, but where I'm standing in front of it, it's just not right yet. Um, I don't know why. Uh, I, you know, I'll work it out. Maybe I need to get the other two up to this kind of level as well um, and then see where they go. Because as you know, even with the larger paintings, I do like to work in a series. It's really important to the way I work. So that's what's going on in painting land. Uh, I've got one over here, which is, uh, I'm just trying out the frame. So uh, I don't really put them in the frame to see whether they're finished. It's just quite nice sometimes to have a, an empty frame sitting in the studio that I can put the paintings in um, and it's not like, oh, let's put it in the frame and see if it looks finished. It's more of a case of just taking all the, the uh, distractions away from the painting. So, you know, when I'm painting on my desk over here, it can be very chaotic, uh, lots of mess everywhere, paint everywhere. So sometimes it can be a little bit hard to see, you know, to see what, the, what you've got. So I like to have an empty frame sometimes so that I can just pop the paintings in the frame without any distractions and decide whether they're either finished or whether I need to do a bit more. This one is, yeah, it's getting there, you know. <laughs> I'm not 100% yet, I'll have to have a look at that one. I'm not, uh, you know, filming it and trying to speak at the same time. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's kind of what's going on in, in the world of painting. Um, I've got my, uh, don't normally have a computer in my studio, but I'm starting my online workshop uh, well this week and uh, so 
I'll be working and then I'll be checking in with all the people that are on my workshop and giving them feedback and um, you know, making comments on the work they're doing and helping them out with that. And that's how I do that. I have that set up in my studio, but I need to keep on top of it because there's quite a lot of people on the workshop. And uh, obviously I don't want to get behind with that. So I have that in the studio and I can uh, keep on top of what people are doing and help them out with it. All the videos and the tutorials for the workshop are pre-recorded. So they'll be checking in, watching all my videos, <laughs> getting all the ideas for the, for the workshop and hopefully getting out there and really enjoying doing the work. But then they can post it up on the Facebook group and I can see the work and I can give the feedback and uh, you know just really kind of help them out with what they're doing as we go along. It also means that if there are any problems or issues that people are having during the course I'm here in the studio and I can film little mini demos to add to the course as we go along. So that's kind of all that's going on in my studio at the moment seems like quite a lot I've also got some framing to do for my exhibition as well so uh, like I was saying you know with the workshop even though it's just starting today you've not missed anything if you do want to sign up for it there's still time you've plenty of time to do the work it's not like live uh, tutorials where you miss things you know the tutorials are all pre-recorded so you won't miss anything so if you're interested in signing up do check out the link that's in the description to the video okay I'll see you next time